Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Ragnarok here with part 5 of my Total War Three Kingdoms. Let's play on Legendary Difficulty. Holy smokes, I wanted to say Rome 2 there and then my brain stalled and went to Shogun 2. And then finally we arrived at uh, Three Kingdoms. Anyway, we got a siege here. We, we have the numbers, but they've got a very well fortified position. A big settlement, decent sized garrison in here, but I think we're going to try some cheeky strategies here. So bear with me, guys. Because we, uh, yeah, got a good old fashioned siege. So I'm going to take my time. Uh, it could take longer than half an hour. If we, it takes an hour. It takes an hour, but uh, the goal is to get this uh, settlement under our control with a reasonable amount of casualties. So now the the tactics here uh, won't be useful in records mode, but uh, since we're playing in romance mode, I think we might be able to get the AI to burn up a lot of their ammunition. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how they respond to our uh, our behavior here. See how the AI reacts to us. Otherwise, we might have uh, to actually <laughs> come up with a better strategy to uh, take this fortress. We don't have a lot of infantry. It's just mostly we've got to rely on our archers, so... Yeah, we'll see. Let's see how she goes. Your death, China, will be a better place. That's that's rude. That's very, very impolite, sir. Man, what a thing to say. And we defeated this guy. We should have executed him, actually. I think, uh... Though, I, I feel like if we had executed him, we would just replace him with another guy. So, I don't know. I guess I stand by my decision to uh, to ransom him and collect the uh, collect the cash. I mean, there's always going to be another guy. Step in. All right. Let's see here. This is a big flippin' settlement. Reinforcements coming in from there. Hmm. We're going to attack one. We've only got one trebuchet, unfortunately. Really would be nice to get another one of these bad boys, but I can't really afford it just yet. Hmm. I'm gonna size up what their uh, what their towers can shoot. My goodness, there are so many towers. My gosh. Only one entrance way. Oh no no, there's multiple entry points. The, the town center here. I feel like coming in the back door here is the way to go. Don't like how all of the towers are automatically activated, especially with how overpowered they are presently. A really like I mean like a 240 man unit can get wrecked very very quickly. Hmm. Look at the range on this thing, too. I 
thinking to attack one of the corners. Maybe this corner? Yeah. Alright. That looks good. Uh, reinforcements. Move them over slowly. I mean, what kind of range does this... I want to be careful to bring them around. Link up with the rest of the troops. Slowly. So, what I'm thinking is we burn down this, this, and this. Oh, man. Or burn down this. My goodness, that really covers a lot of ground. Alright, if we burn down this, this, and this, we have this little space here to, uh, to work with, which is not a lot, but... The, it doesn't seem these tow like these towers on the walls shoot behind them. That's one thing to consider. Don't know that the trebuchet is going to be useful. I mean, we tried it out previously, taking down towers, and it just did not seem very useful at all. Keep you guys together. Oh. We have two more archers coming on, so that's good. The more ammunition we have, the better. None of these guys have. Do we not have any flaming arrows? Oh, we have flaming arrows. these. Alright. As long as we keep them in her retinue, they have, uh, they have flaming arrows, so that's weird. So only these two have flaming arrows. I, I don't know, it's so freaking... I don't know. I think they should be trying to figure out more creative ways to differentiate the the general types than than limiting your your strategic uh, options rather than giving you more strategic options they, they take them away like why the hell wouldn't these guys be able to use flaming arrows too I mean like come on it's not that complicated like anyway fuck, sorry my rant for uh, for now This is all we've got for melee troops here. Let's just hold up back there. The two will be required to do a bulk of the bulk of the work here. And you, my dear, are gonna be our distraction. Yeah, I really don't like this. This whole retinue retinue. Um, alright. So let's come around this way. Make sure you're not on fire at will as well. We're gonna need our ammunition. Get everybody on guard mode as well. Before I forget, guys, bring them around slowly. 
on guard mode. All right. Start it up. Uh, can get that port wall down. All right, we're gonna take it slow and steady, like. I make sure that we don't uh, make any major mistakes here. God, your aim is so terrible. At least we get 20% damage there, but we, I don't know. This is 15% of our ammo. Take a few of the archers out while they're on the walls, that would be great. More archers over here. That's a decent shot there. Right. Decent amount of kills there. Next phase, I want to take down this tower. Where you guys are at. I should be out of range. Yeah. Good shape so far. Way there. Alright. Party time. Not really, but. Need you to burn this down. Alright. Cheese for the cheese gods. I don't get too close to that tower. Try not to waste any ammunition here. Okay. Pull back. And you can pull back too. Taking a little bit of damage, but she... This initial stage is really all we need her for. She won't be um, participating in the combat. Let that tower burn down. That was pretty good. One volley. And let the tower down, so... That wasn't bad at all. You Do not waste your breath. You will need it. Alright, good stuff. Good. Alright, we'll come down and burn this one down next. But let's uh, get these guys moving first. They're gonna need a rest once they get over here. Alright. Hmm. This one might be a little bit trickier. Uh, just because I don't want to get in range of these these archers over here. They could do quite a bit of damage, so try an angle to come over this way. Keep them on the outer edges. Make want to make sure the 
absolutely certain that we don't get them within range of any of these towers. Uh, losing just one of these units would be a disaster. We're going to need every every last arrow uh, for successful siege here. I think we're safe. Well, if they were smart, they would send some cavalry out and sweep those archers off the field. But we are dealing with the... Total War AI here, so... And this archer unit here does concern me a little bit. 2% here. So if we can do it with one volley again, fantastic. Yeah, for a single entity unit, the, the powers are not strong. I think that'll probably do it. Yeah. Ah, shit, we wasted a volley there. Get back. Alright, two towers down. She's taking very minimal damage so far. I'd say that she got shot by an arrow there. Keep moving back. Have a little rest and we'll get prepared. We we'll want to take this down next. Then I guess we could probably consider taking that tower out too. We we'll take this whole line of towers out. That would be great. That's a great block to shoot at. How are you doing for ammo? Ninety-three percent, ninety-six percent. So. They're in good shape for ammo. Let's just hold up there for now. All three of them there? Alright, here they are. Alright, cool. Let's shimmy on over here. We've got up on the tower. Or on the wall, rather. Oh, looks like a lot of troops on the wall there. Alright. Oh, maybe we can get another, another breach. Have you just square up a little bit? Maybe we can create another breach over here and potentially get a couple more kills. A lot of units bunched over here as well. Yeah, this could be a lot more difficult to uh, to take out if they've got those archers over there. It's going to be a lot more dangerous for her, but I, I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to dodge the arrows with her as well. Old Warhammer, Warhammer tactic here. Warhammer cheese tactic, anyway. Doing pretty good for time. Oh, Ten minutes in. All right, let me get some damage in here. I haven't mentioned it yet in this particular Let's Play, but I still 
freaking hate restrict camera. This is as close as I can zoom in. Oh, that was nice. That was really nice. I really wish... Why Why did Legend have to say something about the damage of the trebuchets when they were doing in the pre-release uh, footage? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I, I would have loved for the trebuchets to be a lot more devastating. They just they, they seem a little bit underpowered now, uh, especially for taking on this kind of fortification. We do only have one of them in the army. Ideally, I'd like to have probably four. Job. One more kills there. Appreciate. Climb back up. Let's save that ammunition for now. These guys are going to need a good old fashioned rest. And let's move up to burn this down. Yeah, so that at least got them off the walls. Yeah, see, I really wish I could. What does this do? Melee evasion armor. Come on, boys. Ah, shit. Shit, shit, shit. was bad. That was really bad. Damn it. Hold back. Get any fire damage there? 72%. Was it going up? Oh my gosh, it's way back. We can get these jerks off the wall. Took a little bit of damage there. 20, 20 casualties. Guess you just really only need one volley and you just let the uh, the fire damage go up. Back here. We'll use the rest of our... God oh, damn it. All right, well, that's unfortunate that we weren't able to use up some ammunition. Let that burn down, and then might as well come down and, and burn this, too. That'll be the last one that we burn. Yeah, and that one, we shouldn't... Yeah. Just to cover our entrance here we go through this uh, oh, these two entry points here all right where are you my dear you guys and watch the rest of the battle on top of this hill here on the walls. That is not good. Uh, we do outrange them with our crossbows, so we could kill them with the crossbows. However, I'd prefer if we could to get them to burn up their ammunition by trying to shoot her. See if we can dodge, up, dodge their ammunition. This is always a little bit Dangerous. Are they gonna target her? I don't want to target her. The towers are targeting her. Not the archers. Interesting. Maybe they've been co coded not to, um,
not to shoot at them at, at single entities taking a little bit of damage here there may be a way to tell that tower was completely down anyway let's get you guys over here a quick volley in on that then we should be good to start the next phase of the uh, assault. Yeah, it looks like the, the archers don't want to target her. I hoping we'd be able to actually uh, get them to waste their ammunition trying to uh, to hit a single entity, but they are uh, keen to wait for these fucking things sideways to get back. God, that's so devastating. Alright, that's it. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Everybody get back. Mm. Now this is not good. Alright, where are our crossbows? Where are our um, crossbows? Oh my goodness! Sweet mother of pearl. I forgot to deploy these guys. Alright, well that's... Wow. That's fucking ridiculous. And we really took a beating on these. Wow, these guys are fresh already? The thing that concerns me as well is that it seems like their archers are a lot more accurate than ours are. Alright, well, anyway, tower wise, we should be free to operate in this whole area. Right now. Now we're gonna wait for these freaking crossbows to get over there. Really want to waste all that time. Another option that we could do is we can. You guys have any formations? No. Ah, that sucks. We could put one of these units out front to absorb archer fire and let our. Our archers uh, operate from behind them and try and take out their archer forces. I think that's going to be our best option here. You guys will keep you in reserve. Still have a lot of ammunition left. Archers are just going for a deadly. Just bring someone else out front and see if they'll actually target him. Definitely need to take out their cavalry. Yeah, see, they just won't uh, won't target him. Gotta be in their range. Well, I suppose it is a good thing that they, they actually fixed that, but still, would have made for a much easier siege. Oh, 
around this way. So now these two saber militia are gonna be the uh, the sacrificial lambs. Armor shield two percent. Armor base twenty percent. Range block chance fifty percent. Forty-five percent. Yeah, I suppose the Saber and Militia are the best we've got for this. Oh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do either. That's what I wanted to do. Alright, let's see if we can dislodge these guys from the uh, the wall here. Stay out front. Right, just hold up, just keep him in front. Should just be patient and wait for the crossbows, but Still gonna need the crossbows though. Fuck, they're in a really well entrenched position too. Doing too bad. I hope we have enough ammunition for all this. How are those crossbows doing? Okay. Way over. Slingshot or something. But I don't think that'll be terribly effective here. Mm, Jaken losing currently. God, fucking. One all die. Have you guys shoot at this unit over here? Square up. Probably replace them with the other unit. Let's all shoot at this archer unit now, please. Gotta get these guys off the wall because don't want to retreat with these guys and show them show them our backs. That's gonna end up causing a lot more damage, so I guess we might as well just leave them out front to die. Ah, the poor bastards. Ah, they're really spread out too, making it a lot more difficult to uh, shoot them all. Yeah, just with them on the fortifications here, I just I don't know that we're gonna have enough ammunition for all of this, and they're bringing more of them up here. Yeah, we're down to 63% already. back here. You guys come up too. Yeah, we're 
really only like I haven't killed very many of them. I want you guys actually just shoot at this blob here. I feel like we'll get a lot more kills that way. These guys down here are a much better target. This unit is demolished, but I, I mean they're holding up better than expected and at least archers aren't getting killed. I keep shooting there. A real archer duel here. What? Our men have no ammunition, cannot fire. How is that possible? The 60%? 90%? 50%? Son of a bitch, 0%. How did this guy use up all his ammunition so quickly? Out of there. Alright, it's boat time. Ah, son of a bitch. We got you guys on fire shot. Arrows. This guy breaking, we're gonna have to get out of there. So, basically, sacrifice that saber and militia. Let's back up and we'll do the next phase with the uh, with the crossbows since we outrange them, or at least we should outrange them. Guys, come stand here with the trebuchet. Guys, get out of there. You're done for the day. And come up here. Well. Alright. Um, I mean, I feel like we got the better of them there. Slightly, maybe. But they've still got a melee advantage on us. And I, I really don't want to use up all of our archer ammunition. Taking out their archers. Because... Still need to to take out their, um, their melee troops. It's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Guys are tired. We'll give the crossbows a little bit of a rest before we get in there. What are you doing? Get out of there! Just come up here. Slow and steady. It's, uh, how are we gonna? We gotta keep approaching this. Fuck, they still got so many archers. Hmm. How are you guys doing? Tired still? Winded? Right there. Juicy blob right there. It's not a bad target though too. Just be really nice if we have more ammunition for the trebuchets. Shooting them on the walls like this is not ideal, at least.
Let's bring you guys up. I'm gonna position you here. Too close, guys. Shooting those archers. them. Great, hold your fire. I want you to come over here and see if we can shoot these archers. And send the general in to kill these guys. So, we gotta be careful here. We've got some cavalry. I'm gonna activate it and they're just gonna let us kill these archers. Alright, see if we can get out of here. Alright, good, good. Flipped out. We've got over here. Alright. Guys, Shoot this group now. Yeah, these crossbows are extremely handy. I mean, the additional range. Though, I mean, I still still really like the archers because uh, of the uh, fire arrows and the additional ammunition. But being able to outrange the enemy archers, I think, is going to be really crucial in a lot of these fights. Get a spear or charge in on these spears and see uh come through here. Any damage we can do to them. Might be a bad idea, but they they seem to be able to slip in and out of um troops pretty easily. They don't seem to get stuck too hard. Oh, oh, this maybe could be a little bit different. Pull back out. Could be a little bit different with the spears. Another charge in. Come back out. Back out. Now we're running really low on ammo here. Alright, actually, save the last bit of your ammo. Need to prioritize uh, some better targets. We're not taking too much damage, and the spear unit is getting worn down pretty good. And it seems that they've been hard coded not to. Ah, shit, shit, shit. Wrong group. Wrong group. Yeah, it seems that the enemy archers have been hard-coded not to target our uh, single entity units. I think it's going to be really, really good for us. We can take it. Just because we can't exploit it one way doesn't mean we can't exploit it another way. Bringing these guys in here, we don't have to fear getting shot at by the archers. Yeah, just pull through. And just make sure get one last charge in. Probably gonna come back, but get a few more kills. Wow, they really slaughtered these guys. Son of a bitch. Move back, move back. Alright, I think um, we'll do the same thing to these G infantry, and then maybe we can isolate Deng Yuan. If we can doesn't want to do a go with him. Hmm. All right, crossbows. Um, that was a juicy target, but I think we need to use you to whittle down these these archers on the walls there. 
fine. Let's pull back out. And back in again. I'm right, starting to get tired though. Should probably give them a rest. He's fresh. Those two are tired. Break them? Broke them already, eh? Alright, we'll run them down. Where did, uh... Oh, he ran off to the, to the town center there. Alright, while we're over here, why don't we... Take this tower. Okay. Oh, these are in the truth. Now we want to stay away from this fucking area. Holy fucking towers. Right, captured that. Good. Come back this way. Shooting these archers on the walls. Going for ammo. Are you out? 0% ammunition. Alright. You're done then. Park you up on the hill here. Are you? I is wavering. Well, man, you're safe. Your day, your, your day is over. I'm not going to send you back in. Don't need to waver. Uh, relax. Might be a little bit tougher to get through. Especially with those... Cavalry, okay. uh, saber militia, and the yeah, sword cavalry. Just step out here. See if these guys will follow us out. All right, you're out of ammo too. Follow us out. But. I want to give you guys a rest. But in the meantime. Ah, these three guys have a decent amount of ammunition. I stay in reserve for now. Position you over here. Try and take out these uh, these cavalry with our archers. Try and do that next. Doing for time. We got 20 minutes. G infantry captain came back. If they don't bring any archers over, we should be able to uh, hit them with our archers here. I mean, worst case scenario, we can just siege the city out a second time. If we can, if we're able to continue the siege, I think usually what, or what happens in Warhammer anyway, when you run out of time, is uh, you get a draw. Uh, so if we get a draw here, uh, then it means we'll continue the siege, they won't get replenishment, and we'll be able to come back in here with a fresh lot of ammunition, and be able to uh, do the same thing again. But I relatively confident that we're going to be able to be able to win this without uh, without doing that. Actually, don't. Actually, hold up. Just wait till these cavalry are, are worn down. If you can get out of way. We're not to lose any saber militia unnecessarily. Bring another archer over. Yeah, so far this is going pretty well. I mean, we've taken some casualties, but uh, it's a very reasonable amount so far. And they've sustained pretty heavy losses, I would say. They're running low on ammunition. 
starting to run low anyway. These archers shooting. Alright. Get in there, boys. Probably gonna prompt the cavalry. Let's shoot at uh, these guys now. Son of a bitch, are they coming out? I thought they were coming out here for a second. Keep moving through. We're gonna take some damage on our heroes here from the cavalry, I would, I would suspect. Stay out front. Let's keep shooting those cavalry. Looks like they want to charge out. Alright, let's pull you back out. They're running, actually. Uh, I don't want them coming back. And the heroes definitely do seem a little bit overpowered, but I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not okay with it. Let's back up. We've got these archers on the walls here. Alright, let's come around this way and. Actually. Over here. Just see if we can finish off these uh, saber cavalry. They're gonna be the biggest threat to our generals here. Though I, I don't know. I feel like it's soon time to make a push for the town center. We were low on military supplies, so I would prefer that we finish this battle off. One go. Men have no ammunition. We ran out of ammunition. Okay. Alright. Come park up on the hill too. Alright, let's see if you three can take on some Saber Cavalry. And... You two, the rest of your ammunition on these guys. Yeah, see it. They need them to, to waver almost immediately. I mean, they have sustained casualties. Charge into those, uh, those archers. Just wrecking everything here. You no, know, it would be great if we had a healer. Uh, mage in here with, uh... Earth blood? Wow, be freaking fantastic. You out of ammunition? You are? Oh, head out there. Alright, looks good. We can kill this guy. Alright, I feel like she should be able to win here in the duel. This is our first duel of the uh, Ah shit. Alright, well he's heading that way anyway. Alright, you're out of ammo ammo too. Prefer not to take these casualties. What are we doing in the duel? Oh, ah, damn, we missed it. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, that looked like it hurt. It's a little awkward, but uh, definitely looked like it hurt. I think we're starting going to start powering through with our heroes here. Uh, it seems like they're more or less uh, unstoppable. Can you, can you move? Can you, I oh, just trying to get back on your horse. I see. Pull out and give another charge in. Alright, we've got 15 minutes to get this done. Good 
breaking. Don't think we're gonna need the rest of the troops. I think the three heroes are gonna be able to uh, win this for us. I guess it wouldn't hurt to send in the rest of the troops. Bring you guys over to this corner as well. Get some more archer fire in. And uh, ready to do the assault and the infantry in if need be. Charge back in, boys. Ooh, this cavalry unit's full strength. Yeah, their morale is going to be significantly affected by their uh, their general going down, I would imagine. Not to mention all of the casualties they've sustained so far, or suffered. Bad charge. Yeah, the cavalry definitely do give them a little bit more trouble. support over here. And you can provide cover. I'd actually bring these guys inside here. What the hell? Which tower? Oh. Tower? Alright, cool. Alright. Gotta start pushing to finish this off. Actually, if you guys could shoot. Those are archers, that would be great. Taking a little bit more damage here now. Come on, run them down. Yeah, there's not a lot left. I, I think it's just a spear unit in the town center here. And a lot of them are starting to break. I, I'm going to be a little bit embarrassed to see what their kills are at the end of this. I know we could check it right now, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, these guys are breaking. Ah, shit, there's a... Uh, Alright, come around. There's a barrier there. Come take this tower. Bring the axe band in for support. And continue to cover the... Uh, Archers back there. Not good. Take that tower. Actually, I want to get to these archers. Don't want them shooting. You can hold off the cavalry. Get the axe, axe band into action. And you guys might as well get in here into action as well. Come on. Get with those swords. Or not the swords, but the the sword cavalry. Make sure those archers don't come back.
But ten minutes, I think we got time to spare. Oh, there's another Saber Militia back here. But I feel like Zheng Zheng can... Oh, look at this. Sure, they don't come back. The Samer militia is holding us up here, though. Taking, suffering some casualties, and fuck me sideways. What are we getting shot by here? Fucking archers. Come on, get in there. One of you go deal with that, and then the rest of you keep running them down. Just the key is to not let their archers shoot. And deal the most damage to us. No ammo left. Got a decent amount of ammo. Oh, there we go. They have surrendered. The fortress. Woo! Alright, that was a little bit long and uh, monotonous, but uh, we got it done in the uh, in the end. Oh, the way the music was cutting out there, I feel like we're gonna get a, uh... Get a crash. Anyway, we're over the hour mark. I'll read a little bit more Zen for you. From, uh, the Tao of Jeet Kune Do, And then, uh, we'll call it a day. So, voidness is that which stands in the middle between this and that. The void is all-inclusive, having no opposite. There is nothing which it excludes or opposes. It is living void because all forms come out of it and whoever realizes the void is filled with life and power and love of all beings. Alright, well, very interesting stuff there. Uh, the next point, I mean, these are, aren't really in any particular order. So, I mean, there's no... Um, necessary like organization or cohesiveness to it. Aside from it being grouped in, in different, uh, under different headings. Alright, uh, 16 infamy, 31 infamy. Yeah, uh, man, I am really, uh, not sure what I want to do here. Minus 80% population. 10 faction support. Military supplies. I mean, we could sack it and withdraw. Kind of need the infamy. But we do also need a little bit more income. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sack and withdraw. And uh, see how this plays out. We might even be able to continue sacking this. Did that, uh... Let's change this turn minus four. Do you have enough to... No, we don't have enough to actually take it. So we'll probably take this settlement next turn. Maybe we should have looted and withdrawn. But in any case, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, part number six will be next. Have a great day. Ragnarok signing out.